What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Travis of Travis East the World. And if it's your first time here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, like and comment. And please run them comments up. Please run that like button and hit that subscribe button also. So forgive me for my absence. I've been doing a lot, going through a lot, but I am okay. I'm back here with another Taste My City. It's crazy how many Taste My Cities I've been doing back to back, kind of. But, like, I love my city a lot. Like, a lot of people love to throw dirt in my city. But we, my city is so fruitful and there's so a lot of positivity that comes from my city that gets overlooked by some of the negative things that come out of my city. Like, we used to have a famous Air Force base that got closed down that both my parents used to work at. But that's neither here nor there. We got a lot of, we got a lot of good stuff that come out of uh, San Bernardino. We have Eric Costin, a famous skateboarder. We have the, the famous Route 66 where it ends or starts at, which I'm not too sure at, but it is the heart and soul of our downtown San Bernardino. What else we have? We got our Carousel Mall, which is a national landmark. It's just our forest. It's like we are one of the biggest, smallest cities in the world. Like people ask me, oh, where are you from? I tell them San Bernardino. Like, oh, how far is that from LA or how far is that from Compton? But hey, it is what it is. I love my city. And today I will be doing another Taste My City of Troy's Plates. Now, I've been dealing with Troy for like almost two years, I want to say, and his plates have always been immaculate. And today I hit him up on Instagram. You can follow him on Instagram at Troy's Place. I will put his Instagram in the description box. But besides from that, I always do business with him. He's always 100% with me. He always looks out for me. I look out for him. And I was like, I have a YouTube channel now. Why don't I do a Taste My City of Troy's Place? And now I want to thank my ex, ex coworker or former coworker. I don't know how you say it. Her name is Kiara White. Yeah, that's her name. Kiara White. She put me on game to him. Thank you so much. And thank you, Troy, for always looking out for me. I appreciate everybody. Everybody from my city. I love you so much. Positive, Positivity going on. I'm sending positive vibes today. Today's been really trying, but you know, you got you get what you put out into the universe. So I'm, putting, I'm just putting out positivity. I'm all about positivity. But that's not why we're here. We're here for the positive, full reviews of taste. My city, the, the marathon continues. TMC, let's go! And today we have another seafood boil. And he's like, Why another seafood boil? But I love seafood, and it just happens to be what he was selling today. I went and got next time I'll have to do another one of his reviews on Choice Place. One does like barbecue or oxtails. He, I'm not, I don't know about his barbecue, but I know that his oxtails are good, his shrimp fried rice is good, his uh. His take on the Popeye's chicken sandwich was awesome. His food is always good, so I'm not, I have very high hopes for his barbecue. And I will be reviewing that next time I do Troy's Plates. Link in the description. So, I was thinking about today what to do. And I've been gone for a while. I haven't uploaded a video almost a week, I want to say. Or no, it's been a little over a week, which is crazy. And I want to tell you where I've been, what I've been doing. I was in... LA this past weekend, and I was supposed to do a sexy Sunday, but let's try some of this food first. Got some andouille sausage. Mmm. Mmm. Sausage cooked perfectly. Nice crisp crust on it. Not overcooked. You still hit the snap when you bite into it. It's always a good thing. Excuse me if I, if I look like I'm glowing because it is hot in here and I can't have the fan on when I'm recording because you won't be able to hear me, but I want you guys to hear me and what's going on. What was I talking about? I forgot. I'll be, be losing my train of thought a lot. But, oh, I was supposed to do a sexy Sunday at um, the Kick and Crab, I believe, and I was told that they were open, and I was like, okay. I looked at the means like, I don't like this, 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 and this, but I'm going to get it anyway because... I gotta start expanding my horizon, expanding my palate, expanding like things I don't really like. I'm gonna start trying them more often. And I was gonna eat, I don't like calamari, so I was gonna get that unfried and fried. Oysters, I don't like oysters. I'm gonna have mussels and they had other stuff too that I was gonna get. But we went there and they were closed. So I had to throw an audible and we ended up going to Joe's Crab Shack. And this sucks that Joe's Crab Shack close to me, closed down. And I love their steam pots. And I took my kids with me. I was with my sister and my dad. And it's weird. My daughter, she loves crab. She loves my, uh, when my mom makes crab, she loves when I make crab. She's like me, she loves seafood. But we, when we went to Joe's Crab Shack, 
she got a burger. Now, my son, he doesn't eat seafood like that. I, I can kind of sneak in the shrimp here and there, but he doesn't eat seafood. So I was like, okay, he going to get like a pizza, burger, mac and cheese, something. He ended up getting the pizza. I was like, okay, cool. That's what he always get. But she got a burger. I was, I was going to let down. That's like my little, um, that's like my little eating partner. Partner. Ooh. Oh, he put snow crab. No, not, excuse me. King crab, not snow crab. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. Put snow crab. Yep, today we're going to be using these today. Ooh, got to rip it. Rip it good. Mm. I love, I love crab legs. Like, I wish crab would understand how good their legs taste. Like, this is wild. Like, they can, if they could eat their own legs, they would understand why they're so sought after. But, yeah, that, that, that hurt me a little bit. Like, my little, my little e-buddy didn't want to get no crab legs, no shrimp, no. She did have some shrimp. She did have some shrimp, though. You got to put that out there. But, um. I guess Joe's, I've never been to Joe's Crab Shack with my kids because they closed down the one closest to us and they um they have a kids menu. Uh, well, a lot of restaurants have kids menu. But they had a little steam pot. I was like, oh, I'm going to get her a little steam pot. And she was like, I want a cheeseburger. I was like, oh my goodness, a cheeseburger right now? I mean, I got my little secret sauce one. Oh, yeah. Mm. So I got this sauce right here. Butter, minced garlic, lemon, and uh, Zatarain seasoning, I believe. Fire! Yeah. I was kind of like that. Like, that's my little eating partner. Like, like, she knows I like crab. And every time I get crab, I always got to share with her. And I don't mind sharing. I love sharing with everybody. I, I, love, I love sharing food. That's what food is for. Post share with everybody. And she can get she can get a little steam pot. I'm like, oh man, I kind of want to see what the little steam pot look like too, cause me and my sister ended up getting the same steam pot, so I was kind of let down by that. But but that's neither here nor there. Let's talk, man. This this crab is cooked perfectly. Like I'm not just saying that, but I'll tell you if it's undercooked, it's just oh man. Like there's a fine art to cooking seafood. Like. It's a lost art. Some people can do it. Some people can't. I've been to um, a few restaurants. They say they got seafood. I'm like, okay, run it. And it tastes like licking concrete. Like, how do, how do you pass that off as seafood? Like, like that that hurts my heart. Oh, oh we got the potatoes. So let's, let's taste the potatoes. Let's Anytime I do a taste of my city or a food review, I always give my honest review. I, I don't hold no punches. I just got to be honest because I am very, how do you say, um, I'm very, I got a lot of integrity. So this channel is like, if someone says, oh, I'm going to this channel, see what he says about this. I'm going to think about it and go with it. Perfectly clear. Oh, you get all spices on the, oh, yeah, spice. Oh, that is, some, whoo, yeah. There you go. That'll wake you up in the morning. Speaking of my integrity, if if, if you haven't seen the video already, I did a, a review on KFC's fries. They got rid of the um, potato wedge. Now they got fries. So I did it. Did the video. Shot it. Edited it. Blah, blah. Slapped it on YouTube. About a week later, one of my coworkers, Andrew. Yeah, I'm calling you out, Andrew. Andrew was like, man, I had KFC's fries. They're terrible. I said, I told you that. That's why I do the reviews so people don't have to go through stuff. I do that for you. He went there and was disappointed. I was disappointed when I had those fries. I like fried food, which I got cut down on because I'm trying to cut weight a little bit. I've been, been, been doing a little, little bit of exercise now and then. I'm slimming up, down five more pounds. But I do. that's why I do my reviews because if you, if you see something and you're not too sure about it or it's like out of the norm, I'll review it for you. If you got something you want me to do, shoot it my way. I'll find a way to get it to me. We have internet. Uh, we have we have DHL. We got FedEx. We got Amazon Express. We got oh Amazon Prime, whatever it's called. I'll find a way to review it so you guys don't have to go through that. He was like, man, me and my girl were pissed off at the fries. Man, I did a review on the fries, and I told you the best thing about that whole box was the cookie. And it had nothing to do with the review. Let me wipe my hands real quick. I need to wipe my forehead, too. It's shining out here. But that's why I do reviews. 
because I was interested. KFC has good ideas, but poor execution. Like I said, like I said in the video, they had a, a chicken sandwich with the Cheetos, the uh, regular Cheetos. Those are so fire. I love Cheetos. And the chicken, that, that chicken is really good too sometimes there. And throw it on, I think it was a brioche bun. But somehow, I forgot what they did to it where the chips end up being soggy and it's like, oh, oh no. And then they had like a donut burger, which was donut chicken burger, which was good. But it was too much glaze and too much donut. It was two full donuts. Like it was two full donuts with a chicken patty in between. I ate half and passed out. Woke up and ate right the other half. But that's neither here nor there. I ate half and passed out. That's crazy to know that there's a sandwich out there that put me to sleep. It's hard for me to sleep. I have bad insomnia. That's why I eat late. Don't eat late. That's that's another thing to help. The reason it adds to me gaining weight is the time I eat. Like, that sucks. But it was a good sandwich, but poor executed. They took one donut, cut it in half. They could have saved money right there. That's look, that, look, they would use half the donuts, same, could have the same price on the sandwich. And it would have been half as messy because there was a lot of glaze on it. The glaze is everywhere. And they're like, don't let it get on your pants. It's going to look weird. Trust me. I know. I went outside and I'm like, oh, like, oh well. But let's get back to eating. Like, like how's everybody doing? Like, like oh, and then uh, a couple of my followers want to, uh, oh, I keep saying followers. My subscribers want me to try some other stuff. Like, I think on my, uh, my gross food reviews, I'm going to do like Rocky Mountain Oysters. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I'm gonna eat that. Um, what else? What else is on? Uh, I'm gonna do regular oysters. What else? Um, I'm gonna do mussels. Probably do calamari. And um, I'm looking into squid noodles because I heard those are actual squid. I'm not sure if it's cool. She described so good. But uh, um. Shout out to Troy again. No matter where I'm at, he will deliver to where, where you're at. Man, he, he, he's getting my job, my house, my, my job. Oh, yeah. And then um, tomorrow, I'll probably be dropping another video. I'm dropping, dropping probably going to drop videos back to back to back this week. Just to get back on track. Get back into making videos again. I was supposed to do a video on Wednesday. It was just, it was just so, it was just crazy. With my son doing school, and like, if you know me, you know I'm up late, so I had to get up early for him. First lesson, then took a nap, got up for his second session. Then, um, uh, I mean, he had like PE or something. He was doing push ups on the ground. Like, I see him doing push ups on the ground. Like, man, this is crazy. Like, he's in the house doing push ups. There was nothing wrong with that, but it's like, man, you, I'm just thinking how these kids they need, they need that social interaction. Like, my son, he's, he loves people like me and him. We're today, we're playing the, uh, the new Tony Hawk. And I, and I love spending time with my kids. I love my kids to death. Those are my two broke best friends. I'm, I got to get them back on the channel. I think I'm going to have them on probably next week. I'll probably put them on something. Because they, they keep asking to be on it. But I'm trying to switch it up as like what, what we're going to do. Because I got to get something they can both eat. Because like... My son is so picky. He's the picky eater. My daughter's not picky, but my son, he, he said in his ways, which is nothing wrong with that. Like, if you said your ways, that, that's good. It's giving a curse. But I know when, once you get older, it's probably going to change. Like, when I was younger, I, guess, I forgot how old it was. There's certain foods I didn't like. But now I find myself eating squash, zucchini. Like, if I would eat that like 10 years ago, but, eh, but I like it now, which is kind of weird. But... That's life. Hold on, I didn't get to try and oh my god, there's shrimp in here too. Oh yeah. And my shrimp is clean. I love a clean shrimp. Pause. Shrimp is cooked. Oh. I don't know how I cook the shrimp. I can't get my shrimp to get cooked like that. It's like shrimp can go from like being like barely cooked, we just like Boil it for a little bit. That's cool. That's whatever. Then you have the one where you cook it, and it's a C. That means cooked. But if it turns to an O, it's overcooked. But then you can go cook it past the O, and then it becomes cooked again. And it's like, and it's kind of like, not. I want to say flaky. 
And when you eat it, it's, it's so good. That's how this one is like, it's past the overcooked to back into cooked. And it's like, when some, I forgot who puts a gumbo like that. When they do their gumbo like that, it's so good. I love it like that. Oh man, try this corn. Uh -uh. Look at all that seasoning on that corn. I'm gonna try the other side where ain't that much seasoning. Cause I, this food got me sweat and I'm glowing out here. The corn is corn, and it's, and, it's, and it's really good because, like, the corn is sweet already. It's like sweet corn, I guess. But the spice, oh, my God, it takes to another level. I am sweating. This food is hot and good. That's what I'm telling you. Like, when you make spicy food, it has to taste good because you don't want somebody sweating and dying. Like, ah, 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 I'm dying. I want them to die happy. Like, oh, yeah, this is, the food is good, and I'll die. Man. Oh, another shrimp. Ooh. Mm. But that's all for today. Just want to check in with you guys. See how you guys are doing. I'm going to keep the content going. Thank you for giving me like 75 subscribers. That's crazy. In less than two months, I'm at 75 subscribers. Last time I checked, I checked today earlier. Man, it's crazy. It's like how far I've been. But not, uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep watching my videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos. Share, share, share. Thank you for the people who already shared my videos. Keep sharing. I appreciate the love. You give me love, I give it back. So on that note, I'm about to sign off. I'm about to finish this food. I've been talking for too long. I just need to eat. I need to turn this air on because it is too hot in here. I'm getting, I'm getting too, I'm sweating all over the place. But remember, eat, pray, love, and stay happy. And come taste my city. We out.